You are Councillor Kenneth Wade? I am. I hope you're aware, Councillor Wade, that this is an informal hearing? Uh, yes, most certainly. I'd just like to say at the outset that I have done absolutely nothing of which I'm ashamed, that I stand by my record in local government. Having said that, I'm perfectly prepared to cooperate fully with this inquiry and answer such questions as you may see fit to put. You were elected to the Grangeley City Council, Mr Wade, on a ticket of, um, let me see. On a ticket of providing value for money for our charge-paying customers and for injecting new standards of decency, honour and family values into the community. A fine word no doubt, Mr Wade. You were, I believe, in charge of the contracting out of the council's cleaning department. Cleansing department. We say cleansing, not cleaning. Why? Because it annoys people, I suppose. <laughs> and the company you chose was called Wade Cleaning Services. Cleansing. Wade Cleansing. Slogan, we know the mensing of cleansing. <laughs> Wade Cleansing is wholly owned and run by your wife. Yes, the matter was fully investigated by an independent inquiry at the time. Yes, Wade Independent Tribunals Limited. <laughs> Certainly, the old publicly run inquiry services were expensive and inefficient. We contracted out to Wade Independent Tribunals Limited, who offered a competitive, hard-hitting and business-oriented independent tribunal and inquiry service. Which is wholly owned and run by your son, Geoffrey. As it happens, yes. Who's five months old. Five and a half months old. Geoffrey put together a most attractive bid. I was proud of the lad. Mm. <laughs> Geoffrey's mother, however, is not your wife, but your secretary, Miss Valerie Jeffcott. Yes, the sexual service that my wife was offering was inefficient, old-fashioned, <laughs> cumbersome, and especially after the birth of our first children, overstretched and uh, <laughs> with a tendency to too much waste. I decided to contract out my sexual requirements and uh, put them out for competitive tender in the marketplace. My secretary, Valerie, offered a sexual service that was faster, tighter, certainly, um, <laughs> more efficient, streamlined and slimmed down than my wife's. I thought you stood for family values and clean living. Cleanse living. Yeah, cleanse. <laughs> in your electoral literature, for instance, you promised to come down hard on homosexuals. Since I've been in office, I've spent a great deal of money and energy coming down very hard indeed on homosexuals. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, to return to financial matters, Mr. Wade, do you think it is appropriate that in these very lean times... In these very lens times... <laughs> whatever. The point is, you have been accused of making a lot of money from being a councillor. Oh, yes. There we have it, don't we? There we have it. Accused. Suddenly it's a crime to make money. This is an attitude I have to deal with every day nowadays. Well, I'm sorry. When I grew up, profit was not a dirty word. Arse was a dirty word. <laughs> Scrotum and titty were pretty dirty words too, but profit wasn't. And I have to tell you that I'm not ashamed of graft, of sheer bloody hard graft, or is graft a dirty word as well now, like botty and helmet? I think we have heard more than enough, Councillor. This may be an informal hearing, but uh, frankly, I, uh, I think we're all agreed, don't you? Yeah. Yes? No questions. It's mm -hmm. all there. Good. Kenneth Wade. Your name will now go forward as that of our officially adopted parliamentary candidate for the Grangeley constituency. <laughs> Congratulations, Ken. Oh, thank you, thank you. Long live Britain. God save the Queens.